There's a ton of big breaking news going on right now. We have radio communications being wiped out across North America, all right? Military are having trouble communicating. Maritime ships are having trouble communicating right now. We also have an emergency warning coming out from top officials, multiple top officials um, spanning 30 different states. 30 different states are covered by this right now of this emergency warning. And they are warning, quote, blackouts, higher costs, and greater uncertainty are coming to Americans. All right. So you need to be getting prepared. You need to be getting ready. You need to be getting stocked up. You need to have a generator because communications are being wiped out. Grids are being wiped out. We even had a similar warning. I made a whole video on this a couple months ago, how NASA was warning that the grid could be wiped out for months. They're saying it could go out for months. And now we're seeing radio communications go out as well. And now we have an emergency warning for 30 different states that they could be under blackouts. All right. So get prepared, get your generators, get all your tanks stocked up. All right. I've really been feeling that something big is going to happen. They keep disclosing all of this very strange information and a lot of big things are going on in the background. And I'm really worried that they are going to shut the grid off and implement it, come back with a new system. All right. A completely new system, a smart grid system where everything is tracked and traced and everything you do is monitored and credited. That is the system that we are heading towards and you need to be getting prepared. And that's exactly what top officials are warning of right now. All right. So let's dive into this news here. We have major emergency blackout news for 30 different states. And then we also have radio communications being wiped out across North America as well. So two very big stories that are connected and just another reason why you need to have a generator. All right, I have a champion inverter generator and that thing is a beast. It has lasted going on three years now of constant use. It's used all the time. I'm fully off grid in my RV with water tanks. That thing has goes under abuse, all right? It's under constant abuse and it is held up. It has at least five to 10,000 hours on it at least. I don't know how much it has on it because it only goes up to a thousand, but I broke a thousand a year ago, year and a half ago, going on two years ago, I broke a thousand, all right? So get a generator, get oil for it, get gas for it, get your tanks stocked up, get your gas tanks, your propane tanks, your water tanks, all this stuff stocked up because they're warning us that big things are coming. And we could also see something, a, a natural event apparently happen as well. So let's dive into this news. All right, we're going to get to radio communications being knocked out. And then also this emergency warning for 30 different states and how these are connected. Okay. And why you need to be getting away from cities getting away from major population centers because when the grid goes down people are going to panic people are going to lose it and a lot of these cities we already see violence and chaos and a lot of crazy things breaking out when times are good when times are good so when times get hard people are going to act very irrational and there's going to be a lot of chaos in these big cities all right so let's dive into this warning here we have radio communications being wiped out and then we will get to these 30 states. So stay tuned because your state's probably in this. It's over half the states in the country are under this emergency warning. But real quick, we have two, quote, two rare, powerful X-class solar flares just days apart cause radio blackouts. All right. So X-class solar flares just hit the United States, just hit North America over the past few days. One of the most powerful ones that have ever hit, hit Monday night and Tuesday morning, early in the morning, and was affecting radio communications. There was actually two X-class solar flares. There was one that hit over the weekend, and then there was one that hit Monday night, Tuesday, and this actually wiped out radio communication, high-frequency radio communication in the United States and over North America specifically, all right? So this wipes out things like military communication. They operate on this high frequency. This wipes out maritime communication. They operate on, quote, very high frequency communication. That's what it's called, VHF. And their systems were knocked offline from this massive coronal mass ejection. 
and this X-class solar flare. And I made a video on this, how NASA was warning that we could see the grid go down for months from a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection, all right? Because these are powerful geomagnetic storms that could wipe out our, our electronics and our grid, okay? These things could even, powerful ones could even wipe out all the way down to your cell phone. They have the potential to, the electromagnetic uh, radiation from it has the potential to knock out systems inside of your cell phone and inside of your personal electronics, your computer, your car, all these things are up for grabs and the sun is actually entering a grand solar maximum phase right now. All right. So we need to be getting prepared for this. There's also these frequencies that can be distributed, these high powered radio frequencies that can also mimic very similar events to these auroras and to these CMEs. High powered radio frequencies almost act as like jammers and we have access to this technology uh, they act as like jammers and disruptors to electronics as well and can have very similar effects. They've done studies where they create artificial auroras with radio waves, with high frequency powered radio waves. So this also, I'm not saying this was, this was from the sun. That's what they're saying. But there's also these other almost like weapons that can be used that can mimic what the sun does as well and can cause EMP like coronal mass ejection like events. All right. So I just wanted to cover that really quick because that was really big news and this is increasing in frequency and this was a X class solar flare, the most powerful type. So be prepared for the grid to be hit by this as well. That's what NASA was warning was that the grid could be hit by these CMEs and these solar flares and it could wipe out the technology for it. Let's get into this emergency blackout warning as well that is being issued for 30 different states. 30 different states, all right? This is being issued for, quote, more blackouts, higher costs, and greater uncertainty for Americans. So we have top energy grid operators coming out and making a joint statement warning that 30 different states are at risk of emergency blackouts because the grid itself is being dismantled and shut down and they're saying things are happening way too fast and these rules being implemented are forcing them to shut down their grid capacity and it's causing these blackouts that's what's causing it they're saying that there should be plenty of grid capacity but these regulations and rules are being put in place and they are causing this emergency situation all right so here's the headline here it says u.s grid operators warn that power plant crackdown could trigger quote significant powder power shortages all right it says the nation's largest power grid operators which collectively provide power to 150 million americans have joined forces to collectively warn that 30 different states are under emergency warning situations from this right now all right and they're saying this is due to a new epa regulation that is forcing the shutdown of these power plants all right so you can see here i'll list the 30 different states and we will get into some quotes as we here as well from these grid operators this is coming out of pjm interconnect mid-continent independent system operator the electric council of texas and the southwest power pool all right so they represent 30 different states and they just came out with a joint statement to the federal government to the epa saying that our power grid is at risk of being destroyed from these regulations all right so here's the 30 different states we have and i'll put up a map here so you guys can see montana wyoming north dakota south dakota nebraska kansas oklahoma texas new mexico arkansas missouri iowa uh wisconsin minnesota Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Delaware, Maryland, DC, and maybe a couple more that I missed, all right? But those are the bare minimum ones that are on this list right now that are represented by these grid operators. And they are point putting out a joint statement to the government saying that more blackouts are gonna come and we're gonna have significant power shortages so is this on purpose or not is this what, what's going on here is this on purpose and i'm not against solar at all i'm completely off grid all right 
and I want to have solar for my RV. I wish I had solar for my RV. It's just one of these things that I haven't gotten. All right, but I'm completely off grid. I understand the benefit of solar. I know other people in their RV that are completely on solar, but why is the grid being shut down on purpose? Why are these power plants being shut down on purpose? I just read an article that California was supposed to shut down three different natural gas power plants and they stopped to deal with these grid shortages that they're dealing with, all right? I made a whole video how on California sent out emergency text messages to people's phone warning that they need to turn off their appliances, all right? They need to turn off their appliances because the grid is being overloaded and they just said that they stopped and these are natural gas power plants as well. This isn't even coal. This is natural gas. So what's going on here? Why are these power plants being shut down? What do you guys think? Is this is this on purpose? Like what's going on here? I really don't get why there is this expedited need to shut down our power plants when there's nothing to replace it yet. And they said, quote here, the EPA's proposal is a wrong plan at a critical time for our nation's energy future. They said, quote, the energy future outlined by the EPA will result in more blackouts, higher costs, and greater uncertainty for Americans. He said, and it will magnify today's reliability challenges with grave consequences on an already stressed electric grid. All right, so he's saying the grid's already stressed, and he's saying shutting down these power plants, and they're trying to shut down hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds of uh, power stations and plants that are related to coal within the next decade. And they're saying this is going to cause an immense strain on the grid and things like solar and wind are great, but they are also subject to the weather. Okay. And even solar, it reaches, it reaches an efficiency maximum with the heat. All right. So it can only take so much heat and sunlight before it starts losing efficiency from the sun. Sometimes it can get too much sun. It can get too hot and it actually loses efficiency and it doesn't work as good. So even solar has maximums and the wind isn't always constant. These things are not steady and reliable sources when we need them in emergency situations. They fluctuate. They're good for charging. They're good for passive charging of batteries and supplying the grid with extra but if everyone's cranking their AC, if 100 million people are cranking their AC in the middle of summer or the middle of winter, all right, then you need that starting capacity, all right? You need it. And even with RV uh, air conditioners, you cannot, most RV air conditioners cannot be started with solar. They cannot be started because they don't have enough starting generating watts. It can't be stored in the battery systems on an RV. All right. It's just too much. So there's just a lot of little things where we can't just knock off giant parts of our grid. And we need to be ready for these blackouts because when the grid does come back, we could see a rationed, carboned, credited grid. All right. That's my biggest worry. There's a lot of other fluff going on, a lot of other stuff going on in the news. But I'm worried these are going to be the new lockdowns. It's going to be lockdowns related to the grid lockdowns related to energy lockdowns related to movement because that is related to your energy as well all right it, your car every time you drive your car you're using energy and it's one of those things you don't really realize it until you are off grid when you when you start thinking about it every light i turn on every system i turn on i turn on the water pump that is using energy i, I turn on the water heater that's using a lot of energy. I turn on the AC, that's using a ton of energy and a ton of gas and I'm burning through it like crazy, all right? It's expensive to be off-grid with a generator, all right? I spend 10 to $20 a day just on gas, just on gas for your generator, all right? And that adds up quickly. That's a big electric bill to have, all right? So get stocked up on these things now. They are warning and don't think just because it's, oh, it's going to cool down soon. We got through this. They had rolling blackouts last winter, last Christmas in North Carolina and South Carolina. Duke Energy had rolling blackouts on Christmas in these states. So don't think you were prepared and you're out of the weeds just because it's going to start cooling down in a couple months. 
we are still right in the middle of this. And honestly, a lot of places down south, the hottest months are August and September. These are some of the hottest months in certain states down south. Depends on how the weather is. But we're not out of it yet. And then winter, the grid is going to be strained as well. And it's even worse in winter because we have a lot less solar capacity and a lot less wind capacity normally in winter okay because there's less sun the sun's out for a less amount of time it's lower in the sky the days are shorter all the stuff the skies are cloudier blocked out snowing all these different things happen in the winter as well so the grid isn't even generating as much power as it normally is so we're not out of this you need to stay prepared you need to stay getting stocked up you need to stay getting ready please hit it up for me down there to get this video out to more people because people need to know all right these 30 different states are under emergency warning right now we have communications being knocked out from these solar flares and from these cmes and these are so random they could happen at any time there's really no protection from these solar flares and they've been having x-class solar flares one right after the other and these are the most powerful types and they've been breaking records on how often they've been happening and how powerful they've been. All right, so please hit it up for me down there. I really appreciate that. Helps get this video, helps get people more prepared. All right, that's the thing. And get out of these cities, all right? Get in a rural area, get surrounded by some farmland. All right, and I know there's downsides, there's ups and downs, all right? You don't wanna be sprayed with a bunch of junk living near farmland. All right, I get that. But you also don't wanna be in a wasteland and a food desert where there's no food being produced for hundreds of miles around you. And if something happened, there's nobody producing food. There's nobody to barter with nothing like that. So make sure you guys are stocked up. Make sure your tanks are full. Make sure your prepper pantry is full. Make sure you're going full prepper. All right. Don't let off the gas, get prepared. All right. There's no reason not to be prepared. And who are the biggest preppers on on earth the governments the governments are prepared for everything all the way down to zombie apocalypses they have continuity of government plans for situations like that so get prepared go all in hit it up down there for me i really appreciate that and i hope you guys have a big old blessed day